In this question, we have a sheet of epoxy reinforced with 60% unidirectional e-glass fibers, which is subject to some stresses. We know the strains, and we would like to estimate the applied stresses sigma x, sigma y, and tau xy. To proceed, we will need to know the material properties for the fibers. So, let's look at the table 5.3 part B. From table 5.3, we obtain EX S45 GPA, EY S 12 GPA, GXY S 4.4 GPA, and finally, new XY S. 0.25. So let's start writing the equations. We know that epsilon x is equal to sigma x over e x minus nu y x over e y times sigma y. Epsilon y is similar. It is sigma y over e y minus mu x y over e x times sigma x. Now we should make some arrangements to uh, find sigma x and sigma y. Now I will multiply the first part with new x y and add the two equations together and we will obtain new x y times epsilon x plus epsilon y is equal to minus new x y times new y x over e y times sigma y plus sigma y over e y. Now we will leave sigma y alone so that we can compute it easily. Sigma y is equal to Poisson's ratio times epsilon x plus epsilon y over 1 over e y minus nu x y times nu y x over e y. Now we have all the values except nu y x and we know that nu x y over e x is equal to nu y x over e y and it is equal to 0 0.25 over 45 gpa we can use this ratio in this equation and compute sigma y so let's combine them and we will get This is also GPA. And when we calculate this, we got sigma y is equal to minus 15.25 MPa.
Let's compute sigma x then. Sigma x is equal to epsilon x plus mu y x over e y times sigma y times e x. Again, we all have the values for the equation we know epsilon x, we know this ratio, we know sigma y and we know e x. When we substitute the values and compute, We got sigma x is equal to 131.19 pi. Now we are done with the normal stresses. So let's find tau xy then. Tau xy is equal to gamma xy times gxy. We know gxy, we know gamma xy, so just substitute the values. And we get tau xy is equal to 11 MPa. And that is all for this question.